She's the 80s pop princess turned swing star and he's the radio DJ turned jungle campmate. But to each other, they're simply mum and son. Oh. To wrap up our special Mother's Week, please welcome Shirley and Ronan Kemp. Nice to see it's it's uh, it's one of those is very weird, isn't it? it can't come and say. I know. Oh, I know. That's great. Oh, I know. Yeah. So how what's Mother's Day gonna look like for you guys then? Um, I think it'll be on my phone chatting yeah. with the kids. Yeah. Timing. I yeah. think my daughter might be. She might be coming to stay at home now. Yeah. Right. But uh, obviously Roman's carrying on working. So. Uh, yeah. It's it's quite it, hard. It's, you know that we've been told left, right, and centre, err on the side of caution. And you know I do live inside the city, and I think I think it's the it's the best thing. I think after this, you know, I am going to have to be going in every day and, and doing the job and, and being on the radio. So, I just think it's it's the right thing to do at the moment. You know, this weekend is. So you're you're not going to. No. Make, you're going to socially gonna isolate. No. No. Okay. And that's because your yeah. dad, Martin, he's. Yeah. He's in a, I guess, in a vulnerable group because of what he went through with no, his... He's, no, he's not I don't think so. Neither, neither, neither of my parents are in a uh, high-risk group. I just think with, with the information that we've been given, um, you know, and we've, we've been fortunate enough to have doctors come on to the radio show this week and everything like that, the main thing is erring on the side of caution. Mm. So right. I think that, mm. you know, where possible, if it's not vital that you have to go and, and see people and socialise, then you can do it via FaceTime, yeah. Yeah. you know, and it, and it is being safe about it and it's being sensible. So I Are think you doing that? I think. Are you, yeah. Have you really pared down your so yeah. social unless I, after today, this is, this is it. Unless I go out and, and I have to work and I have to, you know, do broadcast journalism, it, it's, I'm at home. All are, right. are you doing anything different on your show? Uh, yeah, I think at a time like this, the only thing you can do is be real. Uh, and, you know, and we've had, um, really fortunate, we had Dr Alex from, from Love Island. He's, he's been joining us every week, um, uh, every day, sorry, on the show and, yeah. and, and just been taking people's questions. Because I think at a time like this, there's no point, you know, saying, oh, everything's fine, everything's happy. It's like mm. getting people on and, and, and getting their questions answered, you know. And I can, think... that be, can that be... Because, I mean, Kay does a radio show every day yeah. for three hours and I always worry about her because it's so much to take in mm. for that amount of time because I'm choosing to turn the news off all day Yeah. because I, because yeah. I find it too upsetting. Yeah. What? Well, that's well, that's why with, with the show, you know, we've, we've been really fortunate in terms of flipping it and giving it that balance, providing yeah. the light entertainment yeah. whilst, whilst also, you know, giving information. You know, so, so whilst we do, you know, one hour of information... You know, after that, the rest of it is, mm. is you know, let's let's bring some entertainment. Like, uh, you know, it's yeah, the same thing yeah. that, that yeah. you ladies do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, nice and, and here and, and showing funny moments because it is important in a time like this. Well, I think yeah. there's a lot of people feeling anxiety, aren't they? And yeah. it's how you balance that. I mean, I know that's something that you, are, you know, feel very keenly about, the ability to voice any anxiety that you're having, talk yeah. about it, which is something that, that guys aren't often as comfortable with. Yeah, 100%. Um, I, I, I've had a lot of close friends of mine um, go through some real serious mental health issues. You know, me, myself, I, I, I'm so fortunate that I have my mum because my mum is a person that has always taught me to, to open up as much as possible, even when I was a teenager and I'm like, mum, please stop talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah. No, you, you're a good chatter. He's always yeah. been really open. And, uh, Shirley, yeah. when Martin was uh, poorly all those years ago with his brain tumours and... and um, you were I was younger. very young yeah. too. You didn't talk to them, did you? But you didn't well, really I didn't tell them put about it. On the, it. And this is another thing. This what we're going through at the moment. You've got to be careful that you don't scare the kids yeah. as well. Yeah. You know, yeah. distract children. Don't yeah. let them think, "Mummy, what's going to happen?" So um, when Martin was sick and when Roman and Harley were tiny, yeah, I, I never took that home no. with them. They didn't really have a clue. Yeah. That's a huge thing. That's a good you. thing. Mm. It was. <laughs> looking back at any photo of that time, I looked drained. But it's a coping mechanism, and you don't really have a choice. You know, you've got to make the best of a bad situation. Mm. And have you two always been super close? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah we, there's, We're very there's, similar. Yeah, yeah. There, there's an ongoing thing because because my my sister and my dad are very very similar, and, and me and my mum are, are, are very similar in our own ways. But we we feel kind of almost as two separate kind of units in in a way. Uh, but we actually clash more because we're so similar. <laughs> so it's it, yeah. it's one of those. But it, it is is so nice. And going back to what you were saying, I think that you know the one thing that people always, a lot of my mum's friends always have spoken to me about, whether it be in the past or everything like that, is how amazing she was during that moment, of, yeah. of, you know, my dad being sick. And, and I think that's the thing that, you know, I, I view her as my hero because, you know... A lot and it of brought like you that. very close to, to him, didn't it? Because you, I read something where you were teaching him his hits again on, online. Yeah, yeah. It was... Uh, so when, when Spandau first reunited, um, he, obviously, I think, because obviously it was, it was part of his life that was 
before everything that had happened. Yeah. So I don't know, but it, it, he just wanted revamping on all of the, the bass lines, yeah. all of the bass parts. So I, I have this, this amazing memory of sitting down at my computer and my dad going to me, so what is it like this? And I'm going, right, so here, 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 <laughs> Did here. Did you teach here. him it? We're teaching <laughs> his own things that oh, he, he made up. Oh, so oh. It's, it's a lovely memory. <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, Shirley, I know you've spoken about this before, haven't you, in terms of, uh, you know, your achievements, if you like, in uh, life. Uh, being a parent mm. to Roman and Harley Moon yeah. is up there for you, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, people say, oh, you, what was it like being in the band in the 80s? And, uh, and nothing can compare to being a parent. I always wanted to be a parent. And I think you, I kind of gave them the life that I didn't have. I grew up in a big family. My mum didn't drive. She couldn't take us anywhere. So when you have children, it's like... We can go places, we can do things. I mean, they never got bored. You were never oh. bored as a child. I just... <laughs> no, but we I, got I, made to dress, uh, dress up quite, <laughs> quite <laughs> they hated. I, they hated having their photos taken. Like, Please don't take any more pictures of us. They'd put their hands over their <laughs> face. But, uh, yeah. no, I'd been a parent. It was an absolute blessing for me. Yeah. yeah. And it's true that you also, bought an apartment in the same block. Yes, how do you know that? <laughs> yeah. You know everything. Yeah, yeah it's... Uh, how is that? It's, it's actually... I'm, I moved close to him. Yeah, so my mum, obviously, you know, being, being from... From uh, North London, a bit from the north of the, the city, my my mum felt always kind of disconnected because for for work I have to be quite central. Mm. Um, so they felt quite disconnected. Well, he's been a South London boy for about yeah, five years. I know, yeah. I know. So it's been a bit strange. But um, my mum then, my mum and dad, you know, I, I said to them, I was like, right, I, I, I wanted to, you know, get this place, and I was like, look, uh, you know, uh, w look what I've done. And then I come out the jungle, <laughs> and my dad goes. Just to let you know, me and Mum are going to be moving in as well. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, great! But to be honest, it's so. I love so, it. Yeah, I, love it. I just want to say really nice. quickly because we saw the before and after there. Well done yeah. on on you know getting Thank fit. You. And wow. Is that all to Thank do with you. mental health as well? Yeah, it was. Do you yeah. know what? It made such a difference um, because uh, I actually did it uh, with the help of. Um, Bradley Simmons, who you mm. know is a known trainer mm. as well, and and he did a fantastic job in in really helping me get motivated, and and the the help that working out for me does yeah. with with my mental health, you know, and you know this, it, you can get if you're hosting a radio show, uh, sometimes, mm. you know, everything can kind of get caught up. You feel yeah. a big sense of responsibility. Having that space yeah. is really important, yeah. and we've got lots of space today for a bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Listen, we're going to have to wind up. I'm leaning back <laughs> to give you that extra bit of space. No, no, <laughs> it's been such a pleasure to have you here. Have